This is Science and Conservation in the Clackwood Biosphere Region. The following are a series of interviews so that you can learn more about local scientists and their projects. To be down on the mudflats and to see a big flock like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 western sandpipers, that's the kind of thing that like I don't care who you are if that doesn't like stir something within you. It's like it's a it's an amazing spectacle of nature that just like hits you on so many levels. Hi, my name is Toby and I'm from Tofino. Um, I am in grade 11 and I am getting the chance today to interview Mark Mafty from the Rainforest Education Society. Hi Toby. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Good, how are you? I'm uh, doing alright. I have some questions for you and my first question would be what exactly do you research? Well, the work that we've been doing for the last several years, uh, trying to learn more about shorebirds in this area, focuses on how birds are using this habitat. So like how many birds are coming here? When are they showing up? What are they doing while they're here? Uh, are they you know, using mud flats versus beaches? How do they move between those habitats? And a lot of what we're trying to learn is focused on just answering like basic ecology questions because we just don't know. Um, and then kind of the, the secondary goal is that all of the data that we can collect might then be useful to people who are making management decisions about how to protect and conserve habitat, how to you know, limit or manage access to certain habitats and a little black shortage right here. Yeah, and, and, and just how we can kind of keep this area in the state that it's in right now. As like an addition to that question, like what is your favorite thing to do when you're in the field? You know, I, ju I just like being in the field. I mean, I love watching animals and I just love sitting in a spot and just kind of watching, like watching the whole ecosystem. I, I, some of my absolute like lifetime greatest memories are, are just sitting in one spot for like a whole day and like watching like a whole tide cycle or just like picking up on those rhythms. It's, it's magical. Why do you think, like for you, why do you think it's so important to protect and learn about these ecosystems? And what, like, what reasons do you think people need to be out there doing what you're doing? I think it all adds up to the idea that if the work that I do becomes relevant to help us understand why those areas are important and how we can protect them, I, I think it boils down to helping us live in like a sustainable way. It's, it's about learning what our impacts are. So yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't usually take a hard line and say, you know, like we should advocate for this management practice or another. It's more like, let's just learn about the world around us so we can make smart decisions. If you were, if you now were to go back to your past self yeah. and you were just getting into it and you were going to, and you told yourself one thing that you've like learned or achieved or like been involved with that you think would make you like keep on going, what do you think it would be? Oh man. Um, so I'm just going to pause here. This is cool. Sneeze <laughs> guy. Okay, to answer your question, yeah. I, I think the one thing that I'm really glad that I did was I just like, I took opportunities. If, if you just keep saying yes, then one door opens another and one door opens another. And then next thing you know, you, you, you're, you're on, a, on a whole path. And as long as you enjoy it and it's fun, then, then it's really gratifying. So I think as a young person, taking advantage of not being tied down yeah. and just like do, do the do the crazy thing, do the unique thing, do the, do the thing that you feel in your heart. Follow your heart. Yeah. <laughs> what is the most important thing you, you think you do in the field? Like, I, I actually don't think it happens in the field. I think the most important thing is like communicating y your results and your findings. I think that's one thing that the field work is my favorite part and that's like the selfish <laughs> part and it's like totally gratifying. Yeah. and. Uh, but it's, it's what you do with all the data that you collect and how you share it and how you give it back to people. Um, that I think that's the most important part. So I think yeah. good science is, is built on good communication. To learn more about the Raincoast Education Society in this project, go check out the story maps on westcoastnest.org.